Hey guys, I almost didn't do my 35 week pregnancy video because um, I turn 36 weeks tomorrow and I've been really busy and I almost didn't have time but here I am on Monday night at like 8 o'clock and I'm going to do it. <laughs> so um, this week has been probably my most difficult week to be honest but I'm feeling much better now. Um, this week I was really, I had a lot of, a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. It really made me need to sit down and stay really like on the couch and on the bed and really put my feet up and really make me relax and I don't know what was up or what that was about and um, part of me thinks that maybe it was something I might have done. Um, lavender oil is supposed to be perfectly safe through aromatherapy when you're pregnant um, but not topically applied to the skin. And so I put it in my essential oil diffuser during my blessing way last Sunday. And on Monday and Tuesday, I had like the roughest days I've had this pregnancy where I literally thought my baby was going to fall out. Like I had cervix pain, I had tons of Braxton Hicks contractions. I was really not comfortable and I was like getting worried and it was just not fun. And then, so I'm wondering if maybe I did that by mistake, maybe... I'm extra sensitive to things like that and because that, that's the only thing that was different and then after like on Wednesday it started to trickle away and um, things just gradually got better and he's fine now I'm having my usual amount of Braxton Hicks well actually not even as many and just things are much better and I'm not as uncomfortable but yes this week really threw me for a loop um, pregnancy is like I said, I've had a really easy pregnancy, but at the same time, it's really hard on me. At the same, uh, like, my body is, I'm, I have a small frame, and I don't make five, six pound babies. <laughs> and so, um, just that alone is really hard on my body to be carrying around a heavy baby and this like, big old placenta and everything. Um, and so, I don't know, it's just, it's, it takes a toll on you in the end. And I don't want to ever complain because I feel so blessed that I'm pregnant and that I get to experience this and I get to carry this child and that I'm pregnant a second time. And I, I never want to complain about it, but at the same time I can't lie and say, oh, everything's so easy because this week is really hard and it's not that I'm impatient, I'm excited for him, absolutely, and I'm very calm, um, I'm ready, I'm ready for him, but I'm not ready for him, I'm ready for him in the sense that he could come and I'd be happy, but he's not ready yet. He's <laughs> not until at least 37 weeks we don't want him coming. I prefer he even, I prefer he wait till like a minimum of 38 weeks to come. Um, but besides that, it's been a good week. It gradually got a lot better. Like, and, and this weekend was really good and we went to the city and we had no problems and I had no problems and I felt great and I haven't had any issues since then, so I, I always pick up when I talk. Um, yeah, but so physically that was that's how I, where I was and emotionally it was more of an emotional week I suppose in the sense where I was like worried and I was like is this normal? Do I have to worry about him coming early? Like um, I, I was just trying to really fight with myself to be like Rainbow this is normal. Relax. It's your second baby. Things happen differently. Your body is preparing for labor. Just let go and trust your baby and trust your body and trust that he won't come too early and that you will get your home birth and just let go, let go, let go, let go. And so um, by the end of the week after just really, you know, doing positive affirmations and talking with um, friends and even people through like Instagram and, and, and my blog were chatting with me and like, like reassuring me and telling me stories of um, what happened with their second kids and how their bodies got ready a lot sooner and they thought their babies were going to come at like 36 weeks and they, they didn't and it was just a different way of your body preparing after it already knows what to do. And so that was really reassuring for me and that really helped. So thank you if you comment and like share your stories with me on Instagram or the blog or even here on YouTube. Um, thank you. I really appreciate it and it's really nice to like be reassured sometimes so um besides that he's like really he was doing some really funky movements too this week he was like flipping and i think that's why i was extra uncomfortable i think he's like really 
getting himself into position for birth. And so that was kind of crazy. Like my belly button would like dip in and he would do all these crazy things. And it was like so, it was like painful because my ribs were like stretching. And man, this kid has got to be bigger because this did not feel like this to McKinsey. I have no idea. Like my uterus isn't any different shaped. And so I have no idea. He just must be bigger. And watch, he's, I'm, I'm jinxing it this whole time and he's going to be smaller. But, <laughs> so physically and emotionally, I'm feeling awesome now. Um, now that it's the end of the week, I'm, I'm in a really good place again. I s am still practicing my hypno babies somewhat. I kind of stopped practicing my hypno babies a little bit. Um, just gearing up for labor and for birth for me. My instincts have taken over and they're kind of like overriding my hypno babies practice. I know that may sound really weird, but like I have really, really, really strong maternal instincts. And even in the preparations for birth, like my mind just starts to get my body ready. And I don't know, it was like, it's literally like overriding my hypno babies practice where I'll be trying to practice hypno babies and the te like the techniques and the tools are amazing and I will absolutely use them and they're very helpful for me. But like the actual hypnosis part of it, my natural reflex and my like natural instincts on how to prepare for birth were not a lot like I was getting annoyed by my hypno babies tracks and I was like shutting them off and like so I don't know um I mean I'm, I ch chatted with Cody about it and I'm in a really good place now I just started practicing yoga daily and so I get up at five and I do yoga and I have that quiet time to myself in the morning and um I just I'm just getting back to you know the core of my I guess both physical and spirituality if you will so that um, I don't know, that just felt like a better thing to do for me right now. And although I, again, I will use the tools and everything that Hypno Babies has taught me, and who knows, I might even put myself under hypnosis if I feel like it. Um, but I think I'm going to kind of use a little bit of both, of just my yoga practice and my Hypno Babies, because my yoga practice is such a deep, like, core thing. It's not just an exercise for me. It's like a very, like, it's a completely mind-body experience. And every time I practice, obviously I'm, I'm practicing that. And so now with a more like meditative practice, now that I'm much larger and I can't really um, do my normal practice, it's been really helping get me in the right frame of mind. And it's not annoying me, so I feel like I've got a good balance now of I can take what I like from my yoga practice and incorporate it and take what I've learned and what I've, what I've loved from Hypno Babies and incorporate it. So I'm hoping that works out for me. Um, I don't know, I can't, I could practice hypno babies every day like I'm supposed to and I might throw it out the window once it's time for the birth to start. And so, or I could use it completely and throw yoga out the window or like, like you never know. And so I feel like I just really want to relax and be prepared for anything, so. Now apparently on these videos, people show their bumps on the videos. And I didn't know that that was a thing, but I've gotten a few comments like, where's your bump? Why haven't you showed your bump? And so I actually, if you don't know, if you're um, watching from YouTube, I have a blog called Growing Sunshine, and I do weekly pregnancy posts there with like, I keep, I have like questions that stay the same and that I answer every week. And then I also share pictures of my baby bump there. But since you asked, I guess I will I don't know, let's do this. I'll show you my bump. Okay, so here's the front and the side all covered. But I will show you. Let me do my pants up because I don't do my pants up very often at all. And I've been pretty lucky. I haven't actually had any um, embarrassing mishaps with my pants down. So, front of the belly, side, and other side. I'm actually bigger with them than I was with Mackenzie, but. He's quite firmly in there, taking lots of room, so, <laughs> yes. So there's the bump. There's my 35-week update for you, and I will have the 36-week update um, sooner than this. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.